Hello, welcome back to AC3D CAD. In this tutorial, we are going to create a hex bolt and nut using AutoCAD 2018. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell icon after watching this video. First thing we have to do is start a new drawing by clicking this plus icon and make sure your dynamic input is on polar tracking, object snap tracking, or snap, and work on parallel projection. I'm just gonna go to view. I'm gonna open my reference drawing. Let's start drawing from the origin. So type L for line command and enter zero comma zero comma zero and enter 50 units type C for circle command and enter as shown here 12 for radius or 24 for diameter. I'm just gonna copy this one. Bring it up for 9.5 units. So this is gonna be the thickness of our bolt. I'm just gonna set this aside for the washer. And go back to the ribbon and select polygon. Enter 6 for the number of sides. Enter and click the center of the circle and select circumscribe about circle. Extrude this one for 9.5. I'm just gonna turn this into 2D wireframe. To taper off the corners of the bolt head, chamfers can be applied, but instead of using chamfer edge command, which is this one here, I'm going to use extrude command which has a taper angle option. So click this circle, select extrude, bring down your cursor, right click and select taper angle and enter minus 60. Enter. So this is the angle. Now go back to the ribbon and go to the solid editing panel and select intersect command. Click this one and click the bolt head and enter. Same process on the opposite side. So extrude this one, bring your cursor up, right click and select taper angle. and uh, enter minus 60 and select intersect command click that one select the bolt Now I'm going to extrude this one, which is the thickness of the washer, for 0.5. I'm just going to move that, locate the center, and attach it here. Now to create thread for this bolt, we have to use helix command. But first, change the direction of your Z, bring it up, 
and create circle and enter the radius is um, half of the 16 is 8 enter I'm gonna extrude this one for 50 I'm gonna change this to to the wireframe type helix specify center point of base which is the base radius is 8 so just press enter and then specify top radius which is also 8 so just press enter and then select turn height go back to the command window it says here one of the options says uh, turn height so select that and enter 2 the turn height is the pitch the distance between these two corners here and then bring your cursor up now let's create the rectangle but in order to do that we have to change the direction of the UCS we have to be facing the XY plane so click go to coordinates panel click this drop down arrow and click this uh, biggest rectangle and then start with line enter 1.75 right click to repeat line and enter 1.5156 To create this curve, we have to do fillet. Go back to the ribbon and click fillet. And go down to the command window and there's a radius option and enter 0.2887. Click that and click this one. Now we have to join the segments. Type J for join command. And combine all the segments now it's one object now we have to do a sweep command from the ribbon click sweep highlight this object right click enter right click again alignment and select no right click again and select base point click that and select uh, the helix now use uh, subtract command from solid editing panel from the ribbon and click the object you want to keep right click and select the object you want to remove And the last one is to create the knot but first we have to change the orientation of the UCS by clicking the Z axis vector click anywhere on the screen bring your cursor up as what I have said before the direction of the Z axis should be parallel to the direction of the cylinder now create circle and enter 12 for radius copy this one and bring it down for 13 which is the thickness of the knot select polygon from the ribbon and enter 6 for the number of sides locate center and circumscribe about circle extrude this one for 13 units I'm just gonna change this to 2D wireframe now we have to apply chamfer on the corners of the polygon just like what we did with the bolt head but we're not gonna use 
chamfer edge command we have to use extrude select the circle right click enter bring your cursor down right click and select taper angle and enter minus 60 now select intersect command from the ribbon select this one and select that one now it's time to do the bottom part extrude bring your cursor up right click select taper angle and enter minus 60 and click and uh, select intersect again click this one and click this object and there you go I'm just gonna check this out now it's time to poke a hole so I'm just gonna move this one And I'm gonna copy I'm gonna copy this one including that um, line because we're gonna use that for reference so locate the center copy and uh, select the endpoint move that one and attach it to the center of the circle I'm just gonna go to front view for a better visualization I'm gonna move this one and bring it no I have to change the UCS again and uh, make sure we are facing the X and Y plane so click that and select this biggest uh, rectangle now we're facing the XY plane and I'm just gonna make sure I highlighted everything move I'm just gonna move this for about that side now it's inside now so what I'm gonna do is um, do subtract command from the ribbon and click the object you wanna keep right click and select the object you wanna remove now we've created a thread inside the knot I'm gonna change this to realistic I'm gonna copy this one I'm gonna slice that just gonna bring it to top view slice command from the ribbon select that and uh, from from the center bring it down and select the side you want to keep and see the thread in there all right so what I'm gonna do is attach this one to the end of that um, line first I have to change this to 2d easier that way move attach to the end point I'm just gonna move this upward Wait. move upward I'm just going to apply materials type materials I'm going to select uh, from metal I'm going to select um, this one here
sign go back to visualize adjust exposure setting I'll first turn this on I'm just gonna apply the background gradient three colors top color I'm gonna do dark very dark blue the middle one uh, yeah I need that one the bottom lighter color okay just gonna adjust this again apply that Yeah, we're done. Please hit the subscribe button and thank you for watching.